So inside, we're in an empty camper just on the production line. We wanted to show you so where the solar wiring comes in and just the very basics of what's happening in here before the kitchen cabinets get put together. From the roof, you have a solar plug on the roof and you have a solar plug on the rear wall of the camper. That wiring comes into your kitchen cabinets here. So one set of wiring comes down from the roof. Another set of wiring is the rear wall plug. And the, the other set of the wiring here goes back over behind me to the battery box. So if you're hooking up your own solar system, what you need to do is isolate these wires. You'll have labels up here, what they're labeled from rear wall plug, going back to the battery and roof plug. You'll need a solar controller, whatever brand you're choosing, Overland Solar or Victron or whatever it is. Your wiring from the roof, if you're doing a roof mounted panel, would go into the solar controller, positive and negative. If you are doing a portable panel and want both systems hooked up, you would also put your positive and negative wire from the rear wall plug into your charge controller. And then the second port on most charge controllers will have a battery symbol. And that, that, that's the, the wires that go from the controller back over to the battery bank. So that's what's happening in here. Three sets, roof, rear wall, and a set that goes back to the batteries. You're gonna to need to check polarity, continuity, put inline fuses. You're gonna to need to know some basics. You need to know what a wire tester is and a voltmeter and red and black. It's not a uh, plug and play system. You actually have to finish the system and do all of the wiring and the controller yourself if you're not ordering it from four wheel campers. Now that we've covered how to find your wiring inside the cabinets, we wanted just to lay out some wiring just to show you the basics. I'm not gonna show you how to install a solar system, but I wanna show you where the wires are, what they do, the, the basic overview of it. You're gonna to wanna to read your instructions and follow the manuals on installing your controller and your display and your inline fuses, depending on the manufacturer's recommendations. If you're using Overland Solar or Victron or Blue Sky or Morningstar charge controllers, there's a bunch of brands out there. We use the Overland Solar charge controller here. So in your kitchen cabinet, you have that bundle of wiring. So you have two wires coming in from the roof, the roof solar plug, two wires coming in from the rear wall solar plug, and two wires coming out of here, going back to the camper battery. So you'll typically see uh, a loop. You're just gonna wanna trace these down and make sure you have your roof plug, your rear wall plug separate. The last two wires will usually say battery. These go back to the camper battery. And what will happen if you wanna hook up your roof solar and your rear wall solar plug to the charge controller so they both function what you would do is follow this battery wire and anywhere in line here, you would just wanna snip these two wires. So what's gonna happen at that point is these two wires are gonna go into your Overland charge controller or whatever brand you're using. These are the solar wires. So PV is how these are labeled. Sometimes it'll say solar, sometimes it'll say PV, sometimes it'll just show a solar panel. These are now effectively connecting your roof and your rear wall plugs together. And these will go into your charge controller. Red for positive, black for negative, into the, the PV, the solar side. The other connection is the battery side of things. So you'll have a symbol of a battery. This one actually says battery on it. These two wires are gonna go from positive to negative back to the camper battery. So the, the over here on this particular one is solar and this side is battery. So you would make your connections here. At the end of the wiring, this will terminate, the battery side of the wiring will terminate 
in the battery box of the four wheel camper, there'll be a, a coil, small coil wires, just a red and a black wire coiled up, usually zip tied together. When you make that final connection at the battery, you would want to add a inline fuse at the end of the positive connection before you hook it up to your battery. The solar controller in this particular brand is fused here. So from the roof to the controller, it has its own fuse. And then for safety, from the controller to the battery, we run one more inline fuse on the positive wire. These positive and negative symbols and these positive and negative wires don't always align from brand to brand whether it's a Victron or a Renogy or an Overland Solar or all these different brands of solar panels, sometimes their wiring plug is different. So you're, you need to, and you want to ensure polarity, like positive and negative. Test your wiring coming down from your solar, test your wiring coming in from the rear wall plug and test the wiring going out to the battery to make sure that Positive is positive, negative is negative. Some plugs, some solar companies reverse those wiring. So you just wanna make sure you have them connected correctly. Here's your rear solar plug wiring. Here's the roof solar plug wiring. And this wiring goes out to the camper battery or camper batteries whenever you're ready. The final connections on your solar system now that we've covered the roof and the plugs and the cabinets and where the wirings are. Battery box is the final connection. Different floor plans, battery box is in different areas, but your red and black wires will be coiled up right next to your batteries, wherever they might be in your camper, whether it's a shell model, a rollover couch, front dinette. Sometimes they're labeled, sometimes they're not, but they're the only wires that'll be sitting right next to the batteries that are red and black. And undo your zip ties pull these two wiring out and you can kind of spread them apart if you need more room black you put a ring connector on here which will connect to the battery here and put a ring connector on this side which will go to positive and we also put on the positive side we put a the inline fuse just for we covered that in the, the previous portion but you'll want to make your connection here Put your inline fuse before you go to positive. So red to positive, black to ground. Make sure your connections are the same on your charge controller. And when you're ready, depending on your voltage and your amps, we use a 15 amp fuse for our solar, but you can use whatever is recommended by the manufacturer. On the rear wall of the camper, on the newer campers, there's a plug back here for a portable solar panel. The wires go from here inside to the battery. This is a standard SAE plug, solar plug. There's a positive and negative. Before you hook up your portable panel, just check your continuity, like positive and negative. So sometimes these are reversed depending on what brand solar panel you use. On the camper roof, if you have a newer camper, there's also a plug pre-installed up there. And if there's not, we'll show you how to install one later. We're now inside the camper. If your camper has a plug, a solar SAE plug on the roof already, you can skip this portion. This is for some of the campers that are a few years older. If you do not have that port, the plug on the roof, it will be located sometimes in a junction box right behind this little push bar. So the cab over bed right above it there's six screws that hold this board into place. We've taken a couple of them out already just to make it a little quicker. We're just going to take those last two out. And then up here is a junction box on not, doesn't go back for years and years, but it goes back pretty far. If you don't have a plug up here, what you'll be looking at is two solar wires with butt connectors. Just, just sitting in there, tucked up in there. Aluminum plate up here that you can't see from the camera, but there's an aluminum plate and a hole drilled into that. That's where our plug gets installed. So our shop guys will usually 
poke a hole through that plug, through this, this hole right here, and then go outside to the roof and put the plug in. The wires would be dangling. And then you connect your roof plug to the solar wires here with those two buck connectors. And that will get you current from your solar panel to the junction box, goes down the front, through the corner, along the wall, and then terminates into the cabinets. That's how you find your roof plug if your camper's a little bit newer.